Hi, I'm John Chase, and today I want to talk to you a bit about density. Now, some of you might know what density is, some of you might not know what density is. So we're going to give a little example here. And the first thing I want you to think about is, have you ever been in one of those parties, maybe a barbecue, and you want a nice cold drink, and you've got to roll up your sleeve to get to the bottom because some of the cans are at the bottom, and you're like, oh, my favourite cans always at the bottom. But some of them are actually floating on the top. So why is that? Why is it that some float on the top and some go to the bottom? To follow this experiment, you're going to need a few items. All you're going to need is a few cans, a weighing scales, preferably digital, scissors, a measuring cylinder or measuring jug, a pint glass, a container, and for the second part of the experiment, we're going to actually need some of these other things like the vinegar, bicarbonate of soda, a few plastic containers, sealable, 16 two pence coins, a measuring cylinder, thin plastic bag, and some toilet tissue. Now, what is density? Now the easiest way to think of density is, basically, it's how much stuff you've got over a certain amount of space. Your mass, or how much stuff you've got in kilograms, divided by how much space you take up, which we call a volume. So density equals mass over volume. So we can see that this can, or takes up, the amount of space that a can does. And we've got a clever way to compare that to how dense the water would be, as in how heavy would the water be if it was the exact same size as this can. And the way we can do that is we can fill a jug with water up to the top and put the can in. Because once the water's at the brim, to get the can in, we've got to push the water out the way. And the bigger the can, the more water's pushed out. The smaller the can, the less water's pushed out. So that is a can's worth of water in there. Right, so we can pour that out. So we take this can's worth of water and we want to see how much it weighs. So I'm just going to put it in here to make sure I don't spill it. So what we're going to do is pour this water into there to see how much the water weighs when it has the same volume as this can. So that's a weight of 364. So that's how much water weighs of the same volume as this can. So now let's check out how much this can weighs. It weighs 349. We can say that if we take water with the same volume as this can, it weighs 364. But if we take the can with the exact same volume as the can and all of its contents, it weighs 349. So let's check it out. So we're expecting this to float. There you go, it's confirmed. We've checked how much volume that has and we've checked how much it weighs with that volume and we've compared that to how much water would weigh if it was the same volume. But now in this situation, we're going to try keeping the mass the same and changing the volume. And according to this, if you make the volume bigger, that number will be smaller. And if you make the volume smaller, that number will be bigger. So a bigger volume would give a smaller density. And if the density is less, it should be at the top. So to check the flip side, we're going to use the CO2 bomb. First, about half a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda. All right, we need to put the tissue on just to cover it to make sure they don't mix when we close it. Putting a bit of vinegar just above the halfway mark. Doesn't matter what type of vinegar you use, you can also use lemon juice if you so desire. Any type of acid is fine, just not acid that will hurt your hands, of course. Here we go, one CO2 bomb ready to go. Make sure you don't turn it upside down, because when you turn it upside down is when it's ready to go. We don't want to turn it upside down until we've got it into the tank. So next thing you know, you want a bag. They're going to fill it with 16 two pence coins just to weigh it to the bottom. So we want to take all the air out. We want to reduce the volume as little as possible. We're going to stick our CO2 bomb in there very carefully. Close the top like that. Make sure you keep it upright at all times. As you can see, it's at the bottom, which means that it's more dense than the water because less dense goes to the top, more dense goes to the bottom. And let's see what happens if we activate the bomb. Now to activate it, just turn it upside down. Now, what's happening inside there is the reactions occurred, which is causing carbon dioxide to be released, which expands. And when it expands, it increases the volume 
of the bag. And what happens when we increase the volume? The density goes down. And the density is now lower than water, so it floats on the top. And that is how we can keep the mass the same, but change the volume. By the way, 16 two pence coins is about the same weight as one of the newest type phones. So if you ever happen to lose your phone down some water with a bag around it underwater and you had some CO2 and bicarbonate, soda and vinegar, well, you'd be sorted. Um, I hope you've learned loads about density. Until next time, peace. Oh!